Kelly, first of all, tell us why you put... Was this just you or was this part of Standing Up for Women? This is a pressure group you're involved with. So it's so part of Standing for Women, but, but it was uh, something I really wanted to do because I've noticed over the last few years we've, we seem to be losing the word woman. Uh, so we might be called cervix havers or Never menstruators. Well, in cervical cancer campaign material, the, woman, the word woman doesn't appear. Um, menstruators, chest feeders, pregnant people. And I just thought the essence of this debate and what we're losing is, is literally the word woman to mean adult human female. But people seem to be embracing the word woman as well. You're saying that it's disappearing. I think that that's not entirely the case. I mean, I think women are being very much embraced at the moment as well. We're very much in the news. Women are taking over very high positions of power. Do you not agree that, the, that females are being celebrated? Well, you say female and woman interchangeably, and I would agree with you, but that isn't what's happening in the public sphere. So we had uh, Philip Bunce uh, just winning a, a woman sort of entrepreneur award or business award, and he just wears a dress one day a week. So we, it's being diluted. So how do you look, 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 wait a minute. As a man on the outside mm. here, right, this just makes me feel that you're making uh, the word female more exclusive than inclusive. You're claiming mm. it back. You're fighting for it back, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Right, you think it's being diluted. Let me ask you, beside you, Indi, Indi, India Willerby, um, she transitioned from the male to female, what, three years ago? Three years ago. Indi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, why does she threaten you? I, I think when you decide that men can come into women's space, it's no longer a, a women's but, but, space. But she, but she sees herself as a woman. She, you, you, in every way, and they explain to me yeah, how well, you react to that assertion. Well, I, I just want to ask you, Kelly, what would make you happy? Would you, would you want to shave my head? Would you make me want to wear boys' clothes? take my driving licence away and change it back to a male driving licence? Absolutely license. not. You can do anything you want, just you not be recognised as a woman in law. But Kelly but J, what, but no, she, but I am Kelly J, if she, if she sees as herself in law. as a woman, do you have any sympathy that you're looking at a woman who was trapped in a man's body? No, unfortunately, I, I really don't think you can change sex in any meaningful way. Every cell in the human body has got the DNA code of what sex you are. So uh, India obviously looks uh, like a woman, um, but I don't see India as a woman. Right. Um, what, what is it about trans people that makes you so angry? I mean, me as an individual, I've, I've read some of your tweets and you've said that trans people are out to annihilate women and extinguish them from the planet effectively now I don't I, I don't think I've ever said that but, but you don't you don't recognize trans people as women do you no so, so what would you say to the literally my mum is obviously a woman she loves me to bits my sister you know she just accepts me now as her sister I've got hu literally hundreds of women friends I just lead a normal life so why is that why can't you do you? that still as a man no but why is it your business because it affects women in law and no, the no, way I'm we not. live. It absolutely it does. It doesn't affect anyone. How does of it, course how it do, does. How does it affect us? So, for example, if I was arrested today by a police officer who still had a penis but said he was a woman, he's allowed to intimately search me. Now, the reason he's allowed to intimately search me is because a transgender police officer who said he was a woman took the police to court to have that right because he said it was mm -hmm. discriminatory but if he for him believes, not to be able to. But if he to. believes he's a woman, mm. you're saying that doesn't make him a woman? That's saying I have to indulge in that belief also, and I don't. But when, when you're sitting with someone like India, who has, from a very young age, said, just felt wrong, felt very wrong as a boy, has, has lived as a woman for many years. What does that mean? Had the full transgender reassignment mm. surgery. I mean, there's a lot that goes into this. Mm. That is not just done on a whim. Yeah. And you're now saying that she can't be a woman. What does living as a woman actually well, mean? Her. What yeah, does living can, you, as a woman you, you, mean? I, I ask me. I think that's, that's a really good question. Well, you know, I have something called gender dysphoria. It's a recognised medical condition yeah. the world over for 50 years or so. And the treatment for somebody like me who felt gender dysphoria is the only way I can feel normal, if you like, 
is by transitioning, and I've transitioned, and life is great. You know, I have no problems. I pay my taxes. Okay. I have what a does living as a woman mean? Job. I'm living as me. I, I'm living as me. Yeah, but what does living as a woman mean? We need what to define these to you? terms. What does it mean to you? Well, it real? means that I have a female body, and in the society in which I and live, I... there is a two-way street. The way I feel about myself and the way that society views me. And unfortunately, no matter how I mm. feel about myself, I can't enforce a society to indulge in my delusion. Okay. Can, can I do... But, but you're saying that she's deluded to, to, I'm to saying that to India a isn't woman. a woman. Yeah. I'm saying that men cannot be women. And now, India's free to live uh, their life however they want. But you, you wouldn't want me legally recognised as a woman. So let's, let's say, for an instance, I could go out on a night and I got raped. So who would... Would I go to a women's refuge in your well, world? Well, no, because then it wouldn't be a women's refuge, would it? So where would I go? Well, you could raise money and, and uh, make your own refuge. But so why does it... Why, why, why let's not be get personal. We're talking about you are broad... Being, but you are being very personal. That's, that's OK, but like you're asking this... me to keep talking about India. Let's talk about the broad basis of women and men. Yeah, but so India, we had a... re India does represent a lot of people who no, have India transitioned. Rep... No. She does. She speaks about it very openly. Well, Miranda Yardley does too, and, and he doesn't agree remotely with, with India. See, the trouble is, in, in this day and age, and your poster was taken down and one of the complaints mm. came, the main complaint came from a doctor, Adrian Harrop, uh, who is not trans but describes himself as an ally of the transgender community and he complained to the billboard company mm -hmm. that your poster would serve to make transgender women feel unsafe and in fact it was a transphobic uh, hate crime. Do you see yourself as, I mean, are you proud to be transphobic? I don't know what transphobia means unless well, it means that I don't... you don't for her no, and what she no. is. You paid for a poster to... To talk wall. about women, adult human females, and the fact that it's deemed transphobic, mm. it absolutely highlights mm. the absurdity of what's but going on. You, you, you've but, actually been investigated by the police for yeah, malicious for saying communication. That you shouldn't, no, but what? no. I was, I was interviewed by West Yorkshire Police, mm. of which I could make lots mm. of comments about their behaviour, and they wanted, they wanted to see, uh -huh. test the law, as to whether or not it's unlawful to say okay. that you shouldn't take a 16-year-old to Thailand and castrate them. But why, why is this your business? It's, it's a p personal family why matter. It? There's going to be a... It's not big, a personal family matter. I Susie Green is part of the whole Are, we, are, are we agreed there's just terrible confusion and there is a long way to go with all of this? No, I think I'm agreed that this is an, an absolute assault on women and womanhood and we are losing... None None of my if, women if, friends feel that. Well, that that's your women friends. I, I, don't, don't, I don't think I don't. the nation. So you, you don't respect her journey in any way. I mean, I think. I don't one, see why that matters. Of course I think it, it does. No, I don't think because, it matters. I don't well, to think me, I can I just say again, as a man, right? Journey. I couldn't say the sort of things you're saying, and you have every right to say what you say as a woman. I have no difficulty with that. Uh, what I don't understand is why you don't empathise or understand that I don't think India does this for fun. No, can, it's, can it's, just, it's horrible. That. I, if it's, I, it's there's, not like no, a, there's no pleasure in being trans. I don't get a kick out of it, a buzz. So therefore, it's really, really tough. Can you not sort of see that she has a journey that she's looking maybe for a destination with other women to say, please okay. embrace me, hmm. please understand what I've gone through. Well, what about Karen White, who claims... Uh, who is a, a trans woman, uh, who went into British prisons and raped women in female prisons? Well, Myra okay. Hindley, but... Wells West... What, what, what oh, are no, you, what no, are no, no. There's 80,000 men in our, in our prisons. There's only 3,000 women. And 12,000 of those men are sex offenders. So, where, so but, there's but, no comparison. But for you, Kelly, where...